Michael Polish from 1999, the Sundance Festival, to right. today and right. 90 Minutes in Heaven. Right. Brilliant work you've done throughout the years. Thank and you. look at 90 Minutes in Heaven. Yeah. What an amazing work that you've Appreciate done. Appreciate that. Thank you. What is your hope? Um, just that. I hope that for this movie, I hope that uh, people take that with them. Um, you know, we're in uncertain times. There's a lot of atrocities going on in the world, and I, I feel that this film could help. You recreated somebody's life. Right. What was it like digging in to that life and portraying that on the big screen? Um, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a road that's tough to hoe because you have to reveal things that you have to relive. And he, not, you know, Don Piper not necessarily wants to go back that far and see some of, some of his um, anguish on screen. Once he was able to release that, and Eva was really good at doing that, we were able to have balance this movie. Rick Jackson, mm -hmm. tell me about your relationship now with Michael Polish. Well, it's a great relationship, and uh, Michael, uh, uh, I, the first question I ever asked him, and I'm, I meant to tell his parents last night, but uh, the first question I asked him is, uh, uh, we were just meeting, he was at our house, we got some barbecue, and I asked him, well, why did you make this movie, why do you want to make this movie? And he said, uh, first of all, I love the story, and he said, but uh, second, I'm going to make, my, uh, make a movie my parents would be proud of, and uh, I think he accomplished that last night. And you're accomplishing that now with giving films. Well, we're trying to uh, with giving films. We want to, you know, generate enough uh, uh, profits to give away to a lot of charities that uh, uh, for underprivileged children and so forth. Yeah, and even at the uh, red carpet premiere in Atlanta, you did something very special on a balcony for very special kids. Yes, we were glad to have uh, close to 1,500 foster family and children um, at, the, uh, at the Fox in the balcony. And uh, it, was a, it was a special time. And I am just uh, appreciate the, the state for allowing them to come and uh, the state officials and so forth. So it was a, it was a very good moment. And yeah, that's dear to your heart because your own personal journey. That's right. I was in foster care. And you know, I was thinking that uh, you know, most people don't ever go to a premiere in their entire life. But, uh, these foster kids would probably never see the Fox uh, for a long time or be at a premiere, and I just thought that this will be a time of joy and hope and a, and, and a you know, time of turmoil in their life. So we were hoping it would lift them up a little bit. Michael, Kate Bosworth is your wife. Lucky man. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you man. are. Yeah. But what about her feelings when she was watching the film back? She lived this whole thing right. as, as you were filming. She, yeah, she waited until the premiere last night to watch the movie, so... It's a blessing and a curse because I couldn't gauge if she liked the movie or if she was watching overlooking her performance. And I woke up with my teeth grinded to about, you know, a centimeter because I kept looking. I go, do you like this? Do you like what's going on? And she was so intrigued by the decisions that we both made on screen um, that it was an enjoy. It was one of the first movies we've done together where you can actually see our marriage displayed too at the same time. Oh, really? Oh, that's phenomenal. Yeah. How, how have you grown closer together through just the act of this movie together? Um, uh, understanding, understanding faith and understanding marriage through Don and Eva um, made, made us a lot stronger. It sounds like that they've impacted your life, Don and yeah, Eva. Yeah. How so? I've known Don for probably about six, maybe seven years, and I've seen him go through how a movie's made and how, he trust, how to trust somebody through an art, and I was able to learn from him how, how to let go you know, how to let go of something. And it might not be perfect the way I saw the movie, but I, I really served his purpose. And I, th I think with Rick's, you know, guidance that we were able to make something that we were able to look at, look at a product and say, this film is, is beyond us. It's not about us. Rick, where do you go from here with giving films? 90 Minutes in Heaven is done. It's coming out in theaters. Well, we want to have other true stories of uh, hope and inspiration that are faith friendly. And, uh, but also that the uh, general audience would enjoy, I mean, uh, I think uh, anybody would enjoy any story about somebody living what the Pipers went through and coming out on the other side and how they made it through and so forth. So we want to stick to uh, that format. It was brilliant work. Thank you. Thank you Appreciate very it. much. Thank you, Appreciate, Appreciate it very much. Thank you. Yes.